Welcome back at 625 this morning in March is Women's History Month. All month long we are celebrating the contributions of local women to the Casey area's history, innovation, culture and society. One woman made her mark on Kansas City at the turn of the 20th century with buildings we drive and walk past every day. Only this morning Bryant Madrick introduces us to architect Nell Peters. Kansas City is known for barbecue, but maybe it should be known for buildings like the Ambassador, the Valentine, and the Luzier, just to name a few. Built in the 1920s, these buildings stand out in the 2020s. No, Peters is the reason why. She really was a Kansas City architect, and so she really shaped the way that city looked. Elizabeth Engel is with the State Historical Society of Missouri. She explained the difficulty Peters had in starting a career in an industry dominated by men. And she like, you know, went to all the different firms and like they all turned her down, but she was like persistent. She just went back. Eventually, Peters landed a job with the firm that opened the door to a long career. The height of Peters' success was in the 1920s. In a 1925 article from the Kansas City Journal, Peters explained her motivation in building design. She said, I want each building to be as perfect, as economical and practical as if I were building it for myself. One of her creations is the Luzier Cosmetics Building on Gillum Plaza. They'll be celebrating their 100th anniversary here in a few years. Mr. Luzier had Nell design this south building in 1928. Developer Butch Rigby restored the building, which had fallen into bad shape years after the cosmetics company moved. We purchased the building in 2016 and went through a lot of historic uh, tax credit work, things like this, to get it on the National Register for protection and some tax credits. The process saved the Luzier from being destroyed, like other buildings Peters designed. The signature brick, terracotta, and roof brought back to life. On the inside, there's a restaurant and office space, but you'll also find the reminders of the building's history and the woman who designed it. I mean, this building reflects not only Nell Peters, a pioneer, a pioneer in the, 100 years ago, a woman in a man's field, and one not who only survived, but she thrived. Reporting in Kansas City, I'm Brian Madrick, 41 Action News. And how many times have you driven by that building and didn't know that? Now you know. Thank you, Bryant. Peters retired in the 1960s and died in 1974 at the age of 89.